Welcome back to a City Coast YouTube video. Today we're going to teach the familiar how to create a simple smart contract when you lock your funds up into this contract. We call it the lock wallet. Inspiration was somebody in the group Discord who created this themselves. I recreated it. I was like, oh, this is a great idea to, um, to work on learning how to use Solidity contract. It's very simple. It's not too complex. It teaches you simple concepts um you use simple variables you know it's a great starter kit starter fit for anybody you know when you were coming into um, eighth ninth grade year you're excited you know what i'm saying you got your you got your cool grades 12s i don't know man i'm just talking but now so we're building this okay with deposit some right now i'm on the matic blockchain so you'll deposit some matic into the contract for one day I, I specified the contract that it will be locked in for one day. So let's say the feds got you. Like, ah, you got, ah, I need to hide my cryptocurrency for a period of time. Ah, where can I put it? Come, drop it in the lock wallet. We ain't going to take it. It's here for everybody to say. To drop it off. Be like, hey, bro, I don't got it no more. I don't know what happened to it. Then we give it back to you. This is not an ideal app, but it teaches you a lot of things. Our learning objective today. Um, this had a set of contract solidity. I'm sorry, I'm so unprofessional. Uh, we're gonna explore some naming concepts. You'll create a parable function, um, withdraw function as a deposit function, you know, saying variables and displaying it to the front end. So that is our learning objective. Before you start, you will need the node.js package installed on your desktop computer. I cannot stress this so much. You cannot code along with your boy if you don't got this. So please, please get it. Um, Visual Studio Go. If you have any um, code editing IDE that you uh, use, any any one of them, but you will need this. I use VS Code. To be honest, I didn't know there was other things besides VS Code till like till like today. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And let's create. Yeah, you want to create a file? So I already installed a couple few things because um, I was previously recording. Not gonna lie to you. So. Uh, but this is what you're gonna need to install into your, your little file folder. I created a whole little timeline video, then I created a contracts folder. In this contracts folder, you're gonna to install a couple of things. I'm gonna write it for you. Uh, but it's already installed for me. So you want to npm install dash dash say dash dash hard hat. Press enter. After that, you do that. Let that bad boy do his do his do his due diligence. After that, ah oh, man, you're gonna to want to install this long thing. Cause we need a certain, if you're on, if, and only if, my dear programmers, if and only if you're on a Windows computer, do you need to add all this? If you're on a Linux or you're on a Mac is Linux, ideally, you don't need this. Yep, you don't need this. So if you're not on a Windows operating system, or if you're on a Windows operating system, that's all you, baby. So you big. And now after you did that, you want to impex hard hat. Let that bad boy load. Let it load. Yeah, I want to create a symbol padre. Mm, yeah. Cool. So you want boom. Look at that. So now you're now all this stuff is initialized in your little directory. So what we're going to be focusing on is our contract. We got a little um, boilerplate contract. Copy this actually. We don't need this in our contract. Copy this when you come to your contract. We're just going to change this to um, MIT. But yeah, copy this. And hopefully everything looks like this when you run it. If it doesn't, then you did something wrong. And please um, try again. Try again. So let's create a new contract. This contract is going to be called a time lock.soul. We're going to copy and paste what we just found in this, but we're going to change this to a MIT, capital, all capitals. You need this in your Solidity contract. You need the current compiler version, which is initialize this, 0 0.8 and every, anything above 0 0.8. And your license identifier, which I use at the MIT. If there's anything else, please drop in the comments below. I only know MIT. But okay, if you're not familiar with Solidity contracts, this is how you initialize a contract. Contract time lock brackets. So if you're familiar with classes, I learned JavaScript. I didn't really familiar with Python or C plus C sharp. I don't know anything really about those languages. 
Eventually I will. But if you're familiar with JavaScript and you're making objects, contracts are like objects. Well, they're not like objects, but you initialize them like they're like an object, if you get what I'm saying. But here's the fun part. We're now we're creating a time lock wallet. Okay, in a time lock wallet, what are the specifications that you need to know? Let's break this break it simple. Of course, you're going to need a person locking up their funds, right? So we gonna specify the owner of the contract. Address owner. Owner. I do owner. Address owner. Okay. Address, especially in Solidity, is how you um is the current you know that 46 bit that hash that you see on the MetaMask. If you're familiar, that's the address. Address specifies addresses on the blockchain. Every unique address. That's how you specify. And we only need one more blank variable, which is the uh, lock time, right? And we're gonna set it as a unit. Uh, un, un unit two fifty six lock time. This stands for an un in, um unassigned integer, which is not negative numbers. And two fifty six is a very long number. It goes zero to two two fifty six. Right. Thing about solidity only goes up to two fifty six, and it goes back to the zero. I wish I could explain a little bit more on the technical side, but I know enough for me right now. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, but all right, and we need one more thing before we get into the functions and the guts and, and the guts and the gravy of this contract. When the contract is called, every time it's called, the caller of the contract has to be an owner. So we set the owner is equal to measure stop sender. Boom. A constructor is this little thing in most all programming languages that's called upon that is initialized upon the calling of the uh the 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 the, 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 the program. It's always initialized at the start of it. So if I call this contract from my address, I am the sender. I could I called it. If you call it, then you are the sender. You are the current caller of the contract. So that's interesting to know. Now we gotta create two little um, mappings of of such. Could be creating a wallet, and this wallet has our balances and it has the time, right? We need to have unique balances for every every uh, caller and unique lock time to specify to every caller. So let's create a mapping. A mapping is like a hash table. A hash table. It's like key and values. The key and value better. That's how I explain it. So we gotta. Create a mapping for a balance. So mapping it'll be an address, which is the U, to the balance that you specified it. We're gonna call it balances. Balances. And we'll create a mapping for lock time. Mapping address lock lock time. You call this now why I put that here? I am an idiot. Unit 256. Uh, it's called. It's gonna mess my brain up. Lock time. Cause I got two lock times right there. Cool. That feels good. That feels good, guys. But now let's let's get straight into the function. Okay. But now we need. I want to create a, a owner function that returns the current owner of um, the current owner of the the current owner of the contract. So whoever's connected to this site at the time will be specified as owner. So let's create a function owner that's public. So we have things in Solidity is public and private. Public that means anyone can access this function. And we can access the, the, the contents of this function. It's not private, it's not to, just to me. Um, view, oh, public. View view is a little parameter um, that stands for uh, this contract is a view. You're, you're reading from the blockchain. You're not writing towards. You're just reading, and of course you want it to be a view because we're not returning anything, or we're not writing anything. We're just returning an address. Oh, returns address am I? Here we go. Returns not returning. 
sorry guys you want the address of the owner owner to be equal to owner and return owner so we got the first little function going on dude no it's not working And that works address owner is equal to this guy return owner because it's gonna be a different owner every time you call the function all right guys now we create of course it's just a it's, it's a simple function we have deposit withdraw deposit withdraw now we create a uh deposit function which what does does what deposits it money into the contract for a period of time so it's function deposit right it's external right payable that's how you create payable functions uh in solidity it has to be external coming out and it's payable you have to specify payable all right now we want to get our mapping of our balances right and to the message sender as we said before message sender is the caller of this contract like whoever calls it, it could be me because I'm on the computer the back end, or it could be you because you're calling it. So we want to get specified the balance to this to this message dot sender. You want to increment the message dot value, which is the money that we're that's being sent at that current time. All right. So now, of course, we're locking up stuff. So if okay, lock time is greater than Create and block that time stamp lock time equal to block. See, now I get things messed up. I will make sure I'm doing it right because sometimes I messed up. Yeah, lock time is equal to block that time stamp plus one day. So it's going to be locked up from one day. Now you want to get to your mapping lock time measure dot sender plus equal to lock time. So what's happening in this function right now? All right. So when you deposit, when you deposit money in it, right? The value that you send is the payable function is now mapped into this balances uh, array. Now, if the lock time is greater than the current block time stamp, what we just specified. Lock time is equal to a day, and our lock time mapping measures dot increment lock time. So now it says that you just put money in my balance, and the lock time is now increased. Okay, and you can't withdraw. We we don't get to the the specifications of it now. But now it's like okay, no, cool, cool, we got this. But now you want to verify that um, uh, the balances have been put into the contract so let, let's let's get the balance let's verify how you specify it. let's verify that the balance has been updated in the contract so function get balances that's supposed to be it's a public view returns and it's going to return a new, a new an assigned integer return balances Oh, it's bad. Return balances meshes meshes uh, sender. Simple. You now return the balance of this guy. So you go to the map, add your map to the number that you deposited in, and you get a return. All right. How about lock time? Let's verify verify the lock the current lock time of the contract. Right, so it's function get lock time. Same thing is a public view re return and it returns uh, an assigned integer. Same thing return lock time measures dot sender. Pretty cool, right? I think it's pretty cool, <laughs> but now I'm a different guy. Nice, nice, nice. Now we want to create a withdrawal function. So once the day has been over, we want to get our money back. 
You know what I'm saying? I want my money back. I ain't keeping my money to no bot, no algorithm, right? So let's create a function withdrawal function. Function withdrawal function. That's the words in it, guys. Ow. But it's public. You don't. You don't really want to uh, make it private, right? But here's the thing. Two things have to be. A couple things have to be required in this function, right? And. As I'm thinking right now, I feel like I have to add something on. One thing you want to do, you want to require, do you have enough funds to withdraw? Do you have money to withdraw? So I have balances, message.sender, greater than zero. If it's not, it's going to return no funds avail available, right? Because you want that. Well, and we have a lock time, right? So we got to make sure the lock time has expired. If it does not, you can't withdraw, buddy, because that's the specification of this neutral, this neutral web three. That is neutrality, man. You got block. So you want to specify block dot time stamp. If it's greater than the lock time, lock lock time of the messages that sender, that dude. Time it hasn't ex hasn't expired yet, man. Trust the freaking thing. And you want to require that the message the sender is equal to the owner, right? Let me make sure. Yeah, you want to require the message that sender is equal to the owner. You want anybody to be able to like somehow get stuff. You are not the owner of the contract. Ugh, I like. Yeah, you are not the owner of the contract, dude. Come on, dude. You gotta be the owner of the contract. So that's interesting and you know, um solidity that you have to have the required statements because you don't want anybody to be able to just smash and pass on your on your code, man. It's not ideal. You want the code to be secure, and contract security is one of the main factors that the Web3 space has to overcome. So much money going around, and everybody getting robbed now. That you saw the board ape thing. The board ape got 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 tricked, guys. Them boys got tricked. Y'all was like, "Wow, wowzers!" Glad I ain't getting board ape now. We lost a lot of money, right? Going to make a lot of money too. All right, so let's get straight into this. We went to the mount. All right, since we're withdrawing, uh, this is the withdrawal function. We want to get our, we want to get the current amount at. So it's a unit. You can do you, you can do like I, like I sometimes just do the unit like that, but it's a habit to do that. I just feel like to max it out because you never know. This is the sender. You want to get the, the amount that you placed into the array, right? Now, message.sender zero and you want to send the function out so bool sent equal message.sender this is something I'm, I'm not gonna lie call value amount this is how you send things in solidity guys then you want to acquire the sent to be true if it's not you failed to send, or well, it failed. Failed to send either. You didn't do it. Here's the programmer. You ain't do nothing special. You failed to send the ether. So what are we doing in this contract? We required that the message sender have enough money in the lock wallet to even uh, withdraw. We required the lock time is not ex is expired. If it's not expired, dude, you have to wait. Um. Require that the message sender is the owner of the contract because if not, then we have a lot of problems. We won't be like the board eight. We gonna be like a cool dream. We gonna be like every other crypto that had bad contract security. You don't want to be like them. Cause you don't want money now. You feel me? All right. So then we set the amount to be the current amount that you have placed in the array when you did this. When you set the that. Now we set it to zero because the amount is this, then when we draw it reverts to zero because we're sending this out. So initially it should be zero, I'm thinking, but just to be safe, we're saying that this balance now equal be zero. 
And this is the little syntactic way to send money in this facility contract. So bull sent message sender call call the value the amount that we specified and have this little bad boy. I don't really understand why, to be honest with you. But we want to require that the sent to be true. If it's not true, fail to send either. And that is it, guys. That is our lock wallet contract. Such a simple, straightforward way to understand how a solidity contract working. So let's go over it just one more time. We're creating a time lock wallet. And this time lock wallet, it just needs two things really. It needs the address, the person the message that I send the person calling the contract and depositing his funds. It needs the lock time. How long is the lock time going to be? Right? Since we have multiple people that might use this contract, we want to set mappings. Mapping to the balances that you deposit, then mapping to the lock time that is being deposited. All right. And our deposit function, it is eternal payable because we are paying someone. In that native cryptocurrency, I want to specify an external payable function. You can only use that native cryptocurrency. So if it's Ethereum blockchain, it will be Ethereum. It would not be Binance in an external payable function on an Ethereum blockchain. For that, you would have to do some other programming techniques. What's going on? Balances, matches that sender, matches that value is being incremented. So when I deposit into this balance array, the sender is the address the sender, its value is being incremented. If the lock time that we specified up here for this guy is, is greater than the block time stamp, which should be zero, most likely, lock time is now equal to block time time plus one. So the lock time for the message dot center in array is plus lock time. Just specify for this character. And this is the get balances. It's simple. It's a public view return. It returns you uh, the amount that the store get lock time returns you the message dot center. And it was draw function. I think I said it like seven times, guys. My voice is getting tired. I love y'all. I really do. But let's get straight to the um, the guts. Guts to read of this. Terminal. Oh, so since we're using, I forgot to mention this is very important for the success of this alchemy, guys. Alchemy. So I'm just gonna log in. So if you want to deal with the Ethereum blockchain, there's several couple backend solutions to speak or API solution to speak to Ethereum blockchain. Highly recommend alchemy. Today we're going to use alchemy and um yeah baby let's get straight into it uh i'm gonna use i'm just going to use you i'm gonna delete you after come post you so i want to do the rake me network yep ethereum blockchain so you set up an account and there's a couple parameters that you will need you will need to hit view key you need to copy this key right here right then you want to go back into your development environment. You go back to your development environment. You want to go to first, you want to npm install dot n. You can go to your. Was I in the right? Oh, fudge, dude. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't wrong, dude. You want to CD the contract. It wasn't even here. Damn. You want to then you want to npm install dot in dude. You don't want this right here, guys. Ah oh, man, that was L's keys. All right, you want to create a new file dot uh, env. In this file, you want to call alk alchemy. There's the API key equals boom save clear this out you'll need something else you're gonna need your rank B wallet key so this is this very special key guys this is the very special key this key is something I don't want to show on the screen but when you go into your uh, where's rank B at guys we go into your joint 
you're going to want to account details, export private key, and it's going to give you your private key. I'm not going to do that on screen. None of this is going to be a screen. I'm not getting got today. Yes, man, I'm not getting got today. I don't play Fortnite, guys. It's my, it's my niece. I used to play Fortnite, though. I think every coder was a gamer, and I can contest to that. Every coder wants to get to a certain level of self knowledge. Well, yeah, every gamer wants to get to it. Why is not working? Every gamer wants to get to. Hold up now. Okay. Okay, save. Uh, uh. Mm. Sorry, guys. Not that sorry. Can't do equals. Uh, I'm just getting things out so I don't get fun from the cons. Alright guys, I got this there. What I was saying, every coder, every gamer, when they reach a level of self-knowledge, realize, bro, I'm playing games, let me learn how to build them. I ain't do that. I said, yo, I want to learn crypto. And this is where we at now. So, okay, we're here. So, after you put everything in your .in file, I will not show you because I do not want to get, I, want, I don't want to get backdoor, guys. So, let's be, you know what? Please don't backdoor me on the internet. It's not cool. So we installed .m, so we want to require it as well, and I'm going to tell you something, require, uh, man, I forgot to do it. So on that note, even coders like me forget sometimes how to do certain things. So we're going to open it up, oh, contract, oh, it was already open. I'm just going to copy and paste it. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Boom. Require.m path m. This allows us to you know, import uh, our variables without having to show them on the screen. So process .m dot rank b wallet key. Cool. Process dot n dot alchemy wallet key. Cool. Save that. Save that. I don't know why it's doing that. So this is where we get crazy. So in your model exports, you want to specify since we're um uh man it's a different wallet so I'm gonna have to uh open folder sorry guys just wanna make sure everything is straighty make sure I do everything the right way. Yeah, I knew I wasn't tripping. All right. <laughs> so in our folder, uh, model exports, let's specify the network that we're going to use in, which, wow, network, which would be rank, being much better. Rank e by, rank e, rank e by, rank e by. The URL is going to be alchemy API key. The uh, account. Going to be rank B wallet key. So we obviously, 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 we should be good on this part, guys. So after this, um, let's get right into the scripts. And this is script is what's going to deploy the bad boy to our. It's going to deploy the bad boy to our to our uh alchemy. Uh. To our alchemy, <laughs> I'm sorry. To our alchemy, um, let's go deploy to the Ethereum blockchain, man. This is so unprofessional. First, second video, we're learning. Um, so let's create a new script. It's called a script deploy.js. And in this script, we want this bad. He's not even here. Now I'm here. Let's do it. It's cons. We want we want the ethers. Uh, like we installed it before the npm install. We want cons ethers with that library is equal to require hard okay. let's get that bad now the function that we would coin this 
will be called main. const main function. Ooh, it's gonna be an asynchronous function. Yep, because we're doing it with APIs and back end and all that bad boys. Const API function, then we want to uh, get the deployer. So what I mean by get the deployer, we want to get who's deploying it, the address, and we want to get the his account balance because he's, I like to do this to make sure that I'm dealing with the right wallet. How do you do that? So it's const is get the deployer. Let's specify the const deployer. Const deployer is equal to await ether that get signers makes sense. All right, then you want const.log deployer deployer address deploy contract with this at this address deployer dot get add Rest. There you go. Okay, then you want the console. It's console log the balance. Console dot log account balance. Uh uh uh. You want to wait. Deployer dot get. Yeah, I'm doing this shit right. I don't know the function. I'm not, I'm not familiar if this is a function. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, it should be a function. Get balance. Um, dot to shrink. Oh. That'd be good. It should be good. Now we want to get our contract. What is our contract called, guys? What? Hey, I don't want to open. That was scary. What's our contract called, guys? It's called a time like contract. Right here. So let's get it. Get access of our contract. Con Ooh, it's hot in here, guys. Const time lock. Uh, let's call it time lock. Time lock equal to wait. Either to get contract factory time lock. Right there. We want to deploy it. Now, let's deploy our contract. Is it wait? Const time lock equals time lock dot deploy. Now let's wait. Let's wait for the contract to deploy. So it's time lock dot deployed. Yeah, that works too. And it's console dot log the address address of time lock. Wallet deploy to time block that address. I don't need that, but all right. And now we should be essentially done with the deployment script. Um, this, this is cool. And once I get into like data algorithm, it's over for everybody. Dude. It's over. I swear it's over. All right, let's create the um, then catch block. So let's call the main function. It's called a main typing. It's called a main function. It's called then. Ooh, do do do. We want if anything. We want the process. Ooh. Process that exit zero. If everything's right, we want to catch it. Yeah. I should catch the error, shouldn't I? Error. All right, you want console that error, error, and process that exit. Everything's bad, everything's good, just do nothing, then we're good. So let's clear this, all right? Now, what do we do? What's the next step? We want to deploy it to the Ethereum blockchain. We want, or the rank B testnet. We're not deploying to the main net, we're doing the testnet. How do we do this? All right, in hard hat, we do MPX hard hat run scripts. Actually, first, let's NPS hard hat compile. Let's compile everything, make sure everything's okay. We never compiled. Dude, are we good? Dude, are we good? Yeah, we're good. All right, so let's get away from me. All right, let's clear this. Do that. NPS hard hat run scripts. 
to access the script file directory. Let's access deploy.js file. Let's do network dash as network. Specify the network you're deploying to, which is Rainpy in our case. Hit enter. Watch. Deploying myself. Deploying myself. Did I spell Rainpy wrong? I ain't spell wrong, dude. I don't think I spelled wrong. I don't know what I spelled wrong. I don't know what I spelled wrong. I don't know. Maybe I can spell it wrong. Sometimes I can do that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I may be accused. Rank. Network rank B does not exist. Network rank B does not exist. Rank B, right? Let's see. It's spelled right. R I N R I N K E B Y. R I N K E B Y. Solidity. R I A. R I N K E B Y. This is. This is beyond me. This is beyond me. Stress again. Clear. Clear. Impact hard hat. Run scripts. Deploy. Network. Ranky by. That's beyond me. We have to fix that one. Oh, you really want to play? That's the first time this happened. It's the first time this happened. This is the, this the first time this happened. This is odd. This is odd. This is odd. This is odd. This is very odd. Um, this is odd. No, I want to. Oh, figured out the problem. The networks, guys. The networks. <laughs> oh, my bad. You see my headphones coming down. Let's take these off. <laughs> it says, what now? It says, there's one more errors in your config file. Invalid undefined networks. Rank via your expected the value of a type string. Invalid account. It does this sometimes when I don't specify the right way. So let's see if I did the right thing. It does this. I get I get confused when it does that part. Um, let's get straight to it. You know, everything's gonna be a perfect. No, oh, I gotta edit a video now. I gotta edit. <laughs> I gotta edit now. Okay, whatever. I just edit it out. We fixed it though. And clear. Let's clear this out again. Oh, I gotta get it. oh, what happened? Okay, invalid URL. The URL was wrong, so it's let's fix the URL, guys. Is that wrong URL? Say the way. Say the way you're not wrong yet. What's the way? Oh yeah, you've been playing with me. That's weird. I'm gonna try a couple euros. Let's try this euro. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Edit out. You're being funny. That's weird. That's real weird. Let's clear this. Invalid URL. Wow. On that note, I'm just going to edit up. I'm going to delete it. Yep. And I'm just going to create a new app. Call it time block. 
put it on the rank B network right out. Fuki. Weird to me. Okay, I see what you're doing now. I see what you're doing. You're being funny. You're being funny. First, you was being. I thought you was being rude. Now you're being funny. Sorry, guys. How a professional with me. Uh, let's try the HTTP one. Like usually, this one usually works uh, as an alternative, and I think that's what I'm doing wrong. Enter meet value not iterable. I've never seen that one before. Enter meet value not iterable. Enter meet value not iterable. Enter meet value not iterable. So what I'm getting right now is enter meet. Oh my gosh. Enter meet value not iterable. Let's do this. That means there's something in the contract that's going wrong. Ah, see, it was something in the contract. So what you saw just now is that. Edge deploy, edge is deployed undefined. And yeah, where is this one? Wait, wait, let's first. Let's, let's see what's going on. Wait, time lock dot deployed. Why is it doing it? Boy. Doing it. I don't need to add that. Um, I don't need a, that as well. Let's see. I'll make sure everything goes great. Yeah, it's something with you, man. Is it you? This is not necessary to have, but I do like to have them. And I think it will help everyone else in their development process as well. So it's one of these. You're playing with me, man. You're playing with me. You're playing with me, man, and I don't like it no more, dude. You're playing with me, I don't like it. You're playing with me, I don't like it. You're playing with me, I don't like it. Playing with me, I don't like it. We gonna learn it, cause we're going to become we're going to become smart contract developers. Are we not? Can I get a hoorah in the chat? All right. Uh. Yeah, I think I think I was just I think I did the everything wrong. Dude. Let's just try it again. So it's okay. So it's console. It's console dot log. Deploying contracts with this account. Uh, oh, Employer dot get address. Right, that's cool. Console dot log account account balance is await deployer dot get balance. Right, 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 right. That two string yank. That looks good to me. Let's see what happens. This never has happened before. I kid you not. I find it to be odd. I don't want this. I want this. I want this to be part of my own. I want this to be part of my deployment. It's not deep. It's not that deep. Like the contract with deploy. But something's not right because is it the cons?
Intimic value not iterable. That is so new to me. Like when I explain to you, this is the fascination of of the the European gods, man. This is amazing. I went wrong somewhere, and it seemed to be you, and it has never been you. Like, it's just copy and paste my head. Seem to be you, but it has never been you, which throws my mind off. It's not you just today, guys. I'm so hard, but I couldn't show you that cool little thing. But you know, time lock deployed is not a function, time lock deployed is not a function, time lock deployed is not a function. Yeah, it's not. Wait. Time about the point of the function. See, this is how we do errors together. Like, imagine this is a, imagine a tutorial where you wasn't getting, you wasn't getting backdoored. I mean, like, he'd be a liar. You know, that's probably why this wasn't working. Let's try it again. Const deployer. Wait. Ethers to get signers. Okay. Console.log. De deploying contracts with this account deploy the address <laughs> we're going to put it back to the to Ethereum blocks we're just going to have another contract up there okay I didn't think I fixed it Oh, it worked. All right, now we get into the front end development, guys. I will be back. I'm going to give me a water break, and I'll see you then. Back, 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 back to code with Z. All right, guys, we're about to do the front end development part of this video. So let's get straight into it, guys. Let's get straight into it. Let's. Create the next JS app. So we're going to npx create. Well, first of all, we were in we were in our contract directory and we cd out. How do you change directory? Cd dd to get back to the the get back out of it. No, honestly, if you do cdd, it doesn't change nothing. So that's just to show you. Change directory dot dot to get you back one directory. Okay, guys, cool. So you're going to npx create 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 next app. At latest, that is how you initialize a Next.js next next JS the next JS direct the little yeah. Let's get straight to it. Enter. Let that bad boy start doing what it do. Let it do what it do. Let it do everything that it does. Why it does what it do. Tell me about your What made y'all get into the Web three development? Please drop in the comment section below. I'm interested. Um, if you have a job, you want to just like you know, you want to put me on. I drop that in too, man. You know, you know, drop it in. Cause we're building the future of the internet. You know, the internet's the coolest thing. You know, honestly, dude. If you really look at and spread your mind, the internet may be one of the coolest adventures of ever. Like, who cares about the spaceship? Who? Okay, let me not get the wrong. Elon Musk is doing an amazing job. He's getting earth to a multi-planetary species i think that is more prevalent and meaningful to humans than becoming a species who instead of explores the cosmos of which he has now he decides to explore a universe of which he created you get what i'm trying to say it's such a philosophical insight but yeah let's get deep oh oh <laughs> Don't drink, bro yeah, I might edit all this stuff. I probably won't. It's probably be a long video. Alright, clear it. Once, once you did, you went CD to my app. Cleared all this out. Let's get to my app. So when you do your next day, my app. You were introduced to a pages, public, styles, and a config file. All this. If it doesn't look like this, you did something wrong. Please check how to do it. Love this lovely YouTube videos across the, the internet highway for you to figure it out. But we're going to go to our pages section and we're going to go to our app. No, index.js. We're gonna remove all this gunk junk. We don't need this. No, we don't need this. And we're going if you're familiar with React, it's the same concept. But let's let's do npx. No, it's npm run. No, first of all, let's 
close this out. Um, we don't want to, we don't close that out. We don't put that out. Okay, it's bad buys. We don't npm run run dev. Making my forehead look bad. You know, my forehead is bad, man. What can you say? Uh, let's do local. Let's go to our local host. Cause that should be there. And let's also. I love that shade on my face. Let's go to files. Um, you can go go up images and like potentially find your own file. I'm gonna go put that into the public. So we can create that in a little chest. Pixel art. If I had to do any NFT project, it would definitely be pixel art. Pixel art is probably the most beautiful thing in the world. Hands down, beautiful. I might do. A Wow, it was weird. Oh my, I have another node. Oh, shouldn't be running. Shouldn't be running. It's, I realized it went to 301. I don't like that. It's, it's not you know, 301. Let's clear that. NPX run dev. Alright, cool. Let's. Um, reverse engineer that. Faint cause hot. Oh, I was like, why doesn't it show it up? I'm like, we're just being trippy. All right, guys, let's 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 first let's. Let's create some simple things. We're not gonna need too much CSS in this, right? We just gonna center it. Let's let's do it first. Let's create the basic CSS, right? What do we want, right? Let's say what things we need, all right? Uh, let's put in a strong little thing. Wallet address. Then we gonna insert wallet address there, right? Let's just boom that. Uh, total amount, total amount locked up. And put the balance there. Uh, let's do the div uh, class name equals. Um, no, let's take this out. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking too ahead right now. It's just, just to do this. A div class name equals a container. Container. All right, within that div. Dev class name equals to flexbox. Go to flexbox in that dev. We're gonna have the title. Welcome, welcome crypt. It's called welcome crypto nights. Come, come, drop off your crypto. Save. Welcome crypto nights. Come drop off your crypto. Right. And let's drop the. You see, we have an image, so let's drop the image. Image source equals uh, slash chest image dot p is a png a jpeg uh, width a hundred height equals a hundred. That's how you do it. That's how you initialize the image in Next.js. I potentially, dude, I dislike images in Next.js. I really do. What a passion. Woof. So right here though, now we get into the the guts of it. Where do we do our styles at? Our styles will be located in our styles. Go to global CSS because we're not messing with the specification of home module CSS. That requires a little more technicalities and that's too far for this video. We're not teaching CSS, we're teaching basic smart contracts. So as you see here, we have a container box and we have a flex box. In our container, Let's make it look beautiful in our container. Let's just say our container is container is a height of 100 view height, a width of 100 view width. So it expands. Now flex box. What can you think we're gonna do with our flex box? We're gonna call it display flex. Look at that. But we want the flex direction to be a column. We want the height to be 60 view height. We don't want to look 
like that, do we? You're playing with my money, man. Just by calling the center. Center. You got a line on the center. There you go. Look at that. We're good. We're gravy on that one, guys. That's all we need to do right there. But here's the interesting part. This is where things get crazy. This is where we initialize most of our lovely imports. So we're going to import. Import. This import. Ethers, providers, uh, and contract. No. And contract from ethers right to import web3 module from web3 three i didn't web so that's interesting you know i didn't realize i did i never installed though so let's do that it's a cd a cd out of this it's the cd to our my app is clear let's npm i ethers um web3 module at latest Web three. I don't think I need web three, but let's. We never imported the necessary import, so we could connect to the blockchain, boys. But we just did, boys and girls. I don't want to be that guy. Since I'm a guy who don't want to edit the video and during this low, low loading period of time, uh, drop a comment below. Tell you what got you into crypto and what got you into want to become a web three developer. Uh, my story is, um, I fell in love with it somehow. I don't know, I, like, my mind, I don't even know why. It was like, okay, I'm going to choose a career path. And I was like, okay, coding. And, yeah, then I was like, yo, I like, you know, I'm in, like, I like crypto. Like, I want to learn and invest in it. And I realized that you can build it. And I was like, coding, um, crypto, building, this is me. I'm early. This is me. So that's how I got into crypto. And it's, it's been up only, right? Do we say? Wag me. We, gonna make, we all gonna make it. NGMI. He's not gonna make it. Yeah, I might I might change my name to Blockchain Sid. Can you change your YouTube name? I'll be Blockchain Sid or Crypto Sid. I need something. Something to market myself in this space. Like Crypto Sid or Sid. Say the code. I like say the code. That's pretty dope. Yeah. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> awesome, guys. It just installed. Well, we got Web3 installer, so I installed Ether Web3 module at latest. I do the latest every time, and I installed Ether. So you can add, add latest to any of the installations if you so please. That was ugly, dude. <laughs> All right, let's get straight into it. I don't know what happened here. We're just going to just, um, yeah, man, I don't know what happened here. We're going to try you again. Everything should work now. Cannot find module ethers. You're playing with my mind ski, dude. NPM I ethers. Just install you. Hear these saying it. I hear that. I hear that. It's weird because I did not run into these problems. Okay, import <laughs> ethers contract utilis. I might not need this utilis. See, this works. I'm goaded. I was made for this developing stuff, man. Born for it. All right, guys, let's get straight into the, are you familiar with use state and use effect hooks? First, let's import it. Import, you gotta import use state, use effect from React. These are React dependent, React imports that we will be necessarily using. So you're learning React. So you're learning everything today, boys. 
okay we want to get a certain states because we will be dealing with states um state changes in this um in this dap and what state changes should we look into for it so let's think all right we need to connect the wallet we got to make sure if it's connected or not so we have a true or false i'm um, going on so let's get this is check if wallet if what if wallet is connected right so you can't is connected set is is connected we want to check that use you want to say you use state is false at the time right yeah it's too false all right cool 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 all right well now it's connected we we would like to get the address right let's get address let's set address const add let's say let's do account address set, set account address and this is going to return us we want it to be a string so um use state state all right uh when we call a function there's going to be a loading period to transact that function and that's a state chain as well so we want to check if something's loading or not so let's the check if something is loading Cons is loading set is loading equal use state false cool right now all right we got the idea we're doing with a time lock wallet all right and there's going to be a balance located in the contract and we're going to want to check and extract that balance and know that we have money in our contract so let's set a state change to update that balance get balance of contract not current account balance this is balance in the contract so cons balance set balance equal use you state and this is where we might get into like problems guys not gonna lie uh withdrawal date we want to know no the withdrawal date cons with withdrawal date set set with draw date you go you state yeah um get the deposit amount what are we depositing? So cons deposit amount. Oh, don't set deposit amount. It will use state. I feel like this should be a zero. I don't know yet. We might we might mess around with that one. I'm not too quite sure if I'm doing it right on that part. Not going to be too crazy with you guys. All right. So you want two functions that we deal with and work on the Web3 front end. We want to be able to get the provider. We want to be able to get the provider and signer. Provider in Web three is usually um, the node. The provider is the node. Maybe they're they're able to read and write the contract. As a signer is only able to sign write to the contract. And we're gonna to want to create a connect function that allows us to connect to a Web three interface. What should we start with first? Let's get get. Let's create the mm, let's connect to web three interface, right? Well it's gonna require to get provided sanction, but bear with me, right? So we're gonna create a function called cons. It's an ancient dictionary function. So here's two ways though, if you're not familiar with um JavaScript, I would like to just explain it real quick. So you can do the ES6 ES6 standard, which is the most familiar way I'm with, which you create a function like cons um connect is equal to this you do your little brackets and you write in right or you can do this do async connect oh man async connect async connect and you have your function like that and now I spell async wrong Whoa, I never seen this before. What? Okay, well, I don't, 
I feel like I'm a dummy because like I remember it. Right, anyway, it's that's the point. This is how you create a function in modern days. So it's 2020, 2023 anyway. So I don't even want to create a function like that. So we're gonna have a function that's dependent on this. So we're gonna wait, get provider or signer. Then we're gonna set is connected true. See this function is not made yet, so we're about to make it. Uh, let's get provider or signer. It's called const get provider or signer uh, equals async um, need signer equal false. So we're going to specify if we currently need a signer or not. How do we do that? Here's my question. Did I write in a try this but I don't think I do. No, I'm not gonna write a chart like that. I'm gonna write that next time. Okay, we right, I'm just thinking. So we want we wanna get a get a hold of provider, right? So cons providers equal to who is equal to wait web three module dot current dot connect. You're like who is the web three module? We didn't initialize that yet. Thanks for guys for asking it. So this is where the use effect comes in, the use effect hook that reruns and mounts itself every time the page is reloaded, right? So we create a use effect. Okay, let's get that in there. Uh, let's create that in there. It's object, cool. So in the use effect hook, we say if is or is connected is not like if you're not connected. Then you want web three. What we didn't even initialize, right? Didn't realize this. So const web three module equal you use ref. I didn't even import web three module. Import import web3 module from web3 module oh yeah okay, that's not there yet we gonna fix that so with we got web3 model dot current is equal to new web3 module uh uh like this you want the network to be ranky by that's what we specify it's gonna be string and by we want the provider option to be empty object. We want default empty man to be <laughs> false. All right, once that is false, we want to close that. All right, cool, nice guys. All right, all right, gravy boys. All right, sit boys. I'm gonna call y'all sit boys. Um, cons when we got that, cons to get the web three right. Cons one through the web three provider equals new. New providers. I hope I dot web three provider provider. That's how you initialize new provider. I don't think you can. It's I think import web three uh, from web three. All right. Once that is good. Now let's let's get let's get access of the signer, right? Cont signer equals web three prior that I get oh no. Yeah, should be get signer. Usually it does that. Then let's get hold of the the address the address, right? So cons address equals web three oh no signer signer I get address. Console of that. All right, I'm going to set count address to address because that's the current address right now. All right, so now we want some specifications. If you're not connected to the Rank B network, I'm going to tell you in my application, you want the wrong network. Choose the right network. So let's do that. Let's get the const, the chain ID, as we want to call it, is equal to await. Oh, oh, Web three by get network. That's gonna specify the chain ID. And if our chain ID, if the chain ID is not equal to four, which is the rank B specification, window the alert. You are on wrong net net network crypt crypto nights. So I'm gonna take my idea, boy. You a crypto knight? I'm a black gold knight. I don't know what I'm saying, guys. I'm just trying to teach y'all stuff. All right, cool. 
Um, and we don't want to specify nothing because we did make this need signer. So if we do need a signer, so if need signer is special, then we do const signer equals um web three uh, web web three provider dot get signer to return a signer. You want to return signer to our um when, when we need it. Then right now we gonna return web three provider. And right now we should be gravy and it says this is not allowed in async function because you didn't specify async. It's still the same. Probably is. Anyway, we're gonna put the try goes try. Wait, get provide signer. Set this connected true. Um catch er console the error er uh, module fail wait uh is it async right use ref oh uh use ref was not imported imported use ref cool guys and we should be connected um off the screen let's see Yeah, we're becoming Web3 developers one code at a time, baby boy, baby boy, baby boy. Let's have the fun. All right, did I even use you? Um, nah, you're not even used. Why are we even connected? I realize I didn't even use you. It's, it's connect. Now we should be. It's a specified connection. Yeah, I shouldn't have been connected before. Be honest with you. Let's try something. Let's um make sure console.log address. That would give us the the real good butts of it. Um hey, bro. Yo. Yo. Yeah. Hold up, let me put you on speaker. I ain't hear you. You said what? Can I use one of your PS controllers? Oh, I don't got one. Damn. I know, right? Wayne asked me the other day, man. <laughs> I don't got one, man. Sorry about that. Uh -huh. Yeah. My bad, buddy. Alright, yeah, my bad, yo. I can see if I can find one. If I find someone, I hit you. Yeah, I just need one for right now. Alright, yo. Alright, yeah, I got Oh, interruptions, interruptions, and you know why it's not working? Web 3 Webpack is not a constructor, Web 3 module is not working. So I copy paste you, we got Web 3 right here. Web 3 module, ink that down. So yeah, I get so yeah, I see what I'm attempting to do. Address is not specified. I see what I did wrong. Um console.log account address is that better. Um boom. web three web port minus is prior to that web three. That never happened before. Um, I've had a lot of never happened before in this video, which is very upsetting because I wanted to be very smooth. But um, let's try this outside of function. Uh, just want to show y'all guys console dot log account address. Let's 
see it wants to. You see right here, it's not, but it's not getting a hold of it. Who our provider is signing, so it's, it said Web3 import providers is not a constructor. Web3 module. Yeah, you're not a constructor. I don't know where you came from. Providers is not provide. Maybe providers. Um, Web three provider that gets signer is not a function. Web three is wait get signer maybe. Web three provider gets signer is not a function. That's interesting. Um, let's do this. Let's put this first. Let's do this. Let's web three provider. Let's providers maybe. See that works. No, it doesn't. See, if that doesn't work, I'm gonna place it back here. Um, mm. I enjoy when it happens, but I don't at the same time. It's like, dude, you're, you're playing with my mods. So, Web3 Provider is 47. It's not a function. So, this is considered not a function. Now, the question is, why? <laughs> like now I'm in the predicament, guys, where I'm going to have to look at other code just so I make sure life is life is good. I want to make sure like y'all get the right results. I don't want to lead y'all astray. You know what I mean? Um, Get signer, sign, you get singer. <laughs> you know, it's always typo. Get signer, guys. Get signer. And you see down there, you can't see my face in the way. But there you go. Got it. All right, we're all great. Let's put it right here. Yeah, let's get it right here. All right, cool, 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 cool. Now we want to create some of the functions that allow us to operate this this app. Do we not? Do we not? Do we not? And what functions do we have? Do anyone y'all remember? Oh, step one, guys. We didn't even do the most necessary compact blah blah. All right, not app. Let's create a thing thing called const. No, let's create a new folder called constants. And our const for it create a new folder called index.js. In this we're gonna import a couple um couple couple things right we'll export const the time uh lock address right what is the time lock address right and we we know the time lock address from our um it's another contract um uh dude i'm so lost we know the time lock address could let's actually deploy it again. So let's CD contracts, then it's MPX hard hat run run scripts deploy deploy at JS network rank e by why does that we wait again? Contract with this account. All right, we deployed the contract. Let's get that contract address. Let's place it right. Oop. Let's place it right here. Boom. Then we want to export the cons ABI. Where do you get the ABI from in hard hat? So you get the ABI, you go to contract directory, you go to artifacts, you go to build it, no, you go to contracts, you go to time lock, you go to time lock JSON, and this is the ABI. It is wrapped around in a list of objects. You want to copy that. Once you copy that, you don't need this no more. You boom, you control S save, and this will be import. Import. Import contract 
things. <laughs> Import um, time log address and ABI. And that's all we need. So now let's get straight into the, the functions. What functions did we specify in our contract, guys? I want you to think real quick. You don't remember? It's okay. Let's go into our contracts. Let's go to our contract. Time lock. We have a deposit function, a get balances function, a lock time function, and a withdraw function. We have four functions in here. Which one do we want to start with? Let's start with get balances. Let's get the balance of the contract, right? It's called const. It's got this one const get balances equal async. Let's wrap the end. Within the get balance function, it's going to be a try catch block because we are dealing with um, um, working with the blockchain and dealing with pretty much API services. That's how I like to look at it. So it's constant. What are we doing? When we're getting the balance, we're, 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 we're reading from the blockchain, correct? We're not writing to it, right? We're just reading for it. Let's see. Let's make sure. When we get balances, we're just reading from it. We don't have to write to it, man. So with that being said, let's just get provider. Uh, const provider equals await. Wait, wait, get provider signer. Boom. Um, let's get the contract. Const time lock contract equal new new contract. It has to go in this order too. Address uh, ABI and signer or provider. Depends what you're doing. So time, log address, ABI, signer. Oh, well, in this case, the provider. And let's put the brag here so we know what's going on. Okay, and then we have uh, we have to set the balances, right? So let's create a, a let. This is not a constant, but a let. So let about equals await. Time like trying to get balances, right? We call that function. Then let's let's let, let's let it load. So we gotta let it load. So it's, we're reading for we're not transacting nothing. So we don't need to let it load. So let's bow equals ether dot utilis dot um, format ether bow. Since we're getting a number, a big number from um, the blockchain, they deal with big numbers like the unassigned integer 256. We're going to have to format that into a JavaScript readable number. So this is why we have the ethers, utils, formatted um, thing going on. You want to set the balance. Set balance. Bow. Cool. All right. Now, console log, log, log balance is bow. All right, then you want to turn, just return the balance. Return balance, cool. And it's in the catch block, catch er, console.ever, er. All right, guys, we done with that little functionality. Next, let's create a function that we deposit. Deposit Z money, right? Cons deposit async uh, uh, uh. again the gist of how to make these functions right all right so yeah deposit function uh, we are writing to the blockchain now so let's let's specify that in the try catch block I have one arm doing this it gets it gets complicated catch er console dot error Oh, error, error. Let's um, const signer equals oh singer. Signer equals wait. It provider signer. True. Who did const cons, time lock con. It's actually so we don't have to. Copy and paste that and change a couple things like, like signer part portion. So now we want to do we're depositing. So we want we want to call the deposit deposit function, right? So it's const tax in equals await um, time dot de deposit, right? Then we want to set loading. Is loading is true at this moment? Um, um, 
a wait text. Uh, text it dot wait. So wait for the, the wait for the transaction to get mined. Then let's set loading. Set low. Set is loading back to false, right? And that's it for the, the deposit function, right? Is get the contract uh, specifications. Um, let the tax in. Call it loading. Wait for it to get mine. And when's the mine? It revert back to false. So, so now let's create the next function, which is what? Um, I want my money back function. So const withdraw. Uh, async. Uh, uh, uh. Withdraw. You're also writing to the blockchain. So the same thing here, guys. We'll copy all this. And see, we can just be able to copy all this. Boom. Const time like shutter. Think about this. We can const tax equals await time block content dot withdraw. Boom. Got that. Um, set loading. Set set is load. Loading true. Await tax and not wait. Set is loading false. Um, yeah, and there you go right there. Catch error. Console dot error error. Boom. And we have one more function, that's just to get the lock time. So specify how long we gotta wait. Um, let's get the lock, lock time. So this is interesting right here. It's the lock time. It requires some math, right? And I wrote this function down. We're gonna copy and paste and show you. I wanna go through it a little bit, but let's const just write it. Get lock, lock time equals async function, guys. Um, boom, let's write that, boom. Putting the try catch block. We're reading to the box saying so the const provider the wait get provider signer. Don't need to write true. Const time block con contract equals new. It was new contract uh address first ABI then provider signer. Okay. Oh, it's hot. It's very hot in my room, guys. So but let's let the lock time to be equal to wait lock time lock contra dot get lock time. We gotta get the lock time. So let's set withdraw date to be the lock time dot to string. We gotta specify the string stuff. Alright, lock time is now equal to new date. Lock time times 100. Why is it that? I have to look into myself, boys. I really not gonna lie. I just know that's the math behind it. Comes without log. Get lock time. Lock time dot two string. Make sure that is. Then set withdraw date. Lock time dot two string. Then you want to just catch the error. Console. Console dot error or was error. Yes. All right, guys. All right. So we actually just specify all our contracts for the front end. So what we're gonna do now is, as you see, is get lock time function to kind of wrap my mind around too. But we call it a lock time. We have to transfer it to a string with the withdraw date. Um. This right here it messes me up so if you're actually curious to understand how to do more research on what is happening right now but it's the math behind it next is we're going to render everything on screen right all right so let's get straight to the react well yeah let's get straight to the react development of it so first this is create is loading one so things are loading uh this returns yeah return this if it's loading uh h1 nah. this this may take a few seconds 
Acá. Alright, cool. Now we want to see uh render this if connected. I might not have to goddamn set a connect button on here, but if you set a connect button, like it was right here, like I can't even point to it. It was right on the screen, like it was right under the chest. Uh have that as a default um default in, the default output when you come to the screen, but I didn't do that. So it just doesn't matter. Just <laughs> so const render connected. So if you are connected, which your army will be if you're used to React hook, let's say if if you are if it is connected, return this strong wallet address connected all uh, uh, count address so in brackets get variables and react you just wrap around it in the brackets so wallet address connected total amount locked up balance should be balanced right and here's where the class name called the inner box. What is the inner box? What, what contains this inner box? We have a label. Could be one. We want to check how much uh, we're going to deposit. We have a label. Within this label, we have a couple things. Right? No, we don't. We have a uh, just deposit. That's a label, right? In this label, we have a we have a input. Right. Within this input, we have um, um, ID, which is the deposit. We have a type, which of course is a number. We have a we can put a minute max, but it's yeah minimum. You have to deposit at least zero point one Ethereum. That's a lot of money. You're going zero one Ethereum. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, step you can increase it by 0 0.01. Uh, placeholder amount of ETH and the on change event. What is the value going to be? So, on change E, um, set the I had this one, right? set deposit amount to be E dot target dot value. Or is automatically zero. Nice. After the input, you, you can we can create a button. Button. And this button is on click, and it's the it's the deposit. 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 Awesome, guys. Now the last two things we have to create is just a button or on click withdraw withdraw then I guess do we need yes return it button on click um get balance which should just which should which which should return balance we should just return the balance hopefully right i have a trouble with you last time so that is our thing so in a box we haven't specified it in like a like in a what the what the css would be the inner box is so we can just do that real quick um go to css and just just play flex bro cool all right under here let's render it out so after we have an image in our deal we want the render out render connected so render connected uh cool we have that if you're connected render out um if you're not it's loading is it loading it is loading it's equal to true loading if not nothing please now it's 
return and see what happens. Render connected didn't return anything. Now if is connected, which should be set to true, set is connected. It's true after connect is ran and the uh, use effect model. If it connects false, where are you at? That means something is happening. Something did go wrong. Web three dot module. Ah, uh, it makes sense. Get next. Button dot get balance is not the fine get balance is. That's what makes things mess up. Get a syntax with errors. And boom, guys. Boom, boom, boom. Your address is the play because we got that. Zero, no balance. So hopefully, you see, it's positive one Eve. Let's see what happens. Just pause on one ETH and see what happens. Oh, I was like, why are they not saying loading? Well, it's loading. It, it should be loading. So that's weird. If it's loading, is true. Render the loading. Which is supposed to be. We have some errors, guys. Get balance is not defined. Get balance is not defined. Get balance is. Get balance is, guys. Get balance is. Get balance is not defined. Where are you even at? 197. 197. Get balance is. Get balance is not defined. Okay, it's returned. I'm not sure why that's popping up. It's a positive. There's no funds available. Yeah, it's, it's cool. So if I deposit you right here, is loading is not a function. I know it's not a function. What you mean? I gotta look at everything. Make sure I do everything right. Is loading is not a function. Loading. If if it's loading, yeah, that should how it be. It should be render connected. It should be loading. It should be like that. If it's loading is equal to true, loading the balance is still zero. That's odd. I'm not gonna lie to you, that's odd. I can't tell if the bell. Oh, okay. Now, so we can verify the transaction happened on the network. But here's the issue. Um, I feel like the balance is in here. Like, for example, I hit withdraw. It says. I can't see my freaking face is away. Uh, withdraw. No funds available to withdraw. Let's see if I see my money. Decline. Now nah, I didn't even decline. I mean it didn't even deposit. <coughs> Guys, Houston, we have a problem. It's been weird, but it's weird. So what's going on in the contract? So <sighs> I mess my brain up. I'm not gonna lie. This one really messes my brain. Loading is you true. It should be. Should have popped up. Um, but um, here's the issue that we have. We're not deposit the function deposit should deposit into the contract, right? You know why? Here's something interesting that. I'm glad that I caught. 
this could be the issue right here. So let's go back into our contract. Right? Let's go back into our contract. There's two functions that we didn't have in our contract. We didn't give our contract the, the product to receive external payable or fallback external payable. So this allows our contract to receive funds. Receive. I can never spell it. Receive, right? Uh, I'm just going to glue it so I can show you better than I can explain to you. So, receive external pay. I just spell receive wrong every time. Dang, Google, man. So, let's actually MPX hard hat. Let's MPX hard hat compile. I don't think I need to change the contract address. I probably do. Yeah, I wish I would. I'll just do that. And potentially we may have solved the problem because if you read it if you read it right here if it empty, uh, it allows us to do that so just let's do that let's call it all right team so I've been going through this for not too long, but I have other things to do today, to be honest with you. So, <laughs> um, you may not run into this problem with the transaction becoming underpriced. It seemed like a unique error due to my current situation. But um, that being said, uh, the contract will be uploaded in the description below. And the, get, and the original get help too. The original contract will be there. And I think the problem would be resolved because the contract did not have the ability to. What happened to it? Well, the contract I had here is external payable. You want to have these here. Fallback external payable. So the contract can receive ether. And you want to spell receive. The right way, I, it's like God and me cannot spell me receive. Receive E R R E C E B. God, Lee English class, dude. My native language, but yeah, so that essentially should be the issue to fault fix the problem. Make sure that contract is able to receive Ethereum, whatever um, EVM compatible blockchain you may have used, whether it be Binance, whether it be AVAX, whatever it be, whatever it may be, Flow. I don't know, my Flow. I'm not sure if Flow is EVM compatible. Is it? I don't know. Doesn't matter to me. It matters to you. But um, yeah. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you got some concepts of this video. I'm gonna try to post more videos, a lot of tutorials of building some things. It'd be fun. I think this would be fun. We can build some cool things. I can learn together. You can learn with me. All right. This is Sid Codes, and I'm glad that you um. Let's get this crypto together. You know how people be like, let's get that bread. Let's get this crypto. We don't live like them old school people, boy. My money digital, boy. My money digital. Alright, nah, for real though. Y'all have a good day. Um, hope y'all learned something today about um, Slay Contract Development. If you did, please drop a like. If you didn't, please drop a like. If you did, leave a comment. If you didn't, leave a comment. I don't, I just, you know, get my engagement up. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. Alright, Sid Code is gone.